Hi, I'm Marty Pagel from the Department of Medical Imaging at the University of Arizona. Hi, my name is Iman Dadie and I'm a graduate student in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at the University of Arizona. So our research focuses on molecular imaging, specifically with small animal magnetic resonance imaging. We are, we are doing two main projects in our lab. One is called acetocell, which is measuring the acidity of tumor pH. And the other one is called catalysis, which is detecting enzyme activity in cancer cells. So we would like to describe the techniques used in our research and that has been uh, uh, described in this research paper. CEST or chemical exchange saturation transfer is an MRI technique that works based on transfer of saturation from a contrast agent to bulk fodder. Any type of proton depending on the chemical environment resonate with a particular frequency. Applying a radio frequency matching with the exact resonance frequency of the proton causes saturation of the proton meaning no signal can be detected from that proton. Exchangeable protons in a contrast agent are able to transfer saturation from the contrast agent to bulk water. This causes a reduction in the signal coming from bulk water. Collecting water signals while applying a range of radio frequencies gives a graph-like figure D in which water signal is suppressed in the regions where the applying radio frequency matches with the resonance frequency of the exchangeable protons in the contrast agent. Collecting top of all water signals gives a graph like figure E which is called Z spectrum. CEST in general has great potential for molecular imaging and in our review paper we have shown many examples of contrast agents working based on this mechanism. Exchange relaxation mechanism is di very different from CEST mechanism. To measure theta relaxation, a 90 degree pulse is applied to flip magnetization into XY plane where all the magnetization vectors start defocusing. Applying a 180 degree pulse causes refocusing of all those individual magnetization vectors to yield a net magnetization. Presence of a water molecule in close proximity of the lanthanide metal in the contrast agent causes the protons of that water molecule to resonate in a different phase compared to bulk water protons. Exchange of water molecules causes exchange of protons that are resonating in different phases. So they can cancel each other. Refocusing of all these magnetization vectors yield a net magnetization which is less than what we expected to see in the absence of exchangeable protons. This mechanism was discovered long time ago and recently researchers have started designing new contrast agents based on this mechanism. We appreciate the chance to describe, to describe MRI mechanism in our review paper and we hope you enjoyed reading the paper. Our contact information is in uh, the review paper and we look forward to hearing from you if you have questions. Thank, Thank you. you.